All right, so what we're gonna be doing right now, we're gonna be testing the uh, Area 419 suppressor mount system to where we can just get the uh, adapters and put them on all the other rifles and just take the can suppressor and switch it to one another. What I'm doing right here is I wanna test the uh, return to zero. So if I take this off, put it on my 6.5, shoot that, decide to go day hunting or something, take it back, put it back on here, that'll return to zero. So. I'm gonna do first five shots with it on, take it off, do five shots, and then put it back on and do another five shots and see if it returns back to my target um, down range at 100 yards. So I'm just using some cheap M193, the Winchester stuff. I believe it's Winchester. Just M93, some cheap stuff. Um, it's gonna be a piece of paper. I might have two dots left with the can, right without, and then left with the can to make sure to see if it returns zero. So let's get started. That's five shots with the can. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then uh, do it another five without it. All right, so now I got the can off. I'm gonna run another five shots on the right side. There's another uh, dot. And then uh, after that, let it cool down one more time. Put the can back on and then shoot the left side again and make sure that my uh, my point of aim, point of impact, it all returned to zero after I took it off and put it back on. So, and by the way, my gun does not like this ammo at all. I got maybe like an inch and a half at 100 with the can on. And without it, I've tested it before, it, it's shit. But that's not the point of this video right here. So let's get shooting. That's another five shots. That's without it. We'll put the can on here in a little bit after it cools down, and then we'll see where it hits. All right, so I got the can back on. I'm gonna do another five shots. I'm gonna shoot the left side that I shot at the beginning of the video, and hopefully it all returns back to zero. So later on, I'll be doing better reloads to where I can get flow relief at 100 with my 60 grain VMAX. And then that'll be a real true test to see if it ever shifts. But I figure for right now, just for testing purposes, I just bought this cheap box of ammo just to see if it returns to zero. So. That's it. And from what I can see on the scope from here to there, it actually returned back to zero. So that is very exciting. So, but I'll take you down there. I'll bring the target here, whichever one I'll show you. All right, so here's the end result. These are 10 shots, five shots with the suppressor on, with the mount, five shots taking the suppressor off, another five shots putting the suppressor back on. My point of aim is here. Impact is there, point of aim, impact is here, then it looks like it returned back to zero. So to me, that's a solid test. Cheap ammo, about an inch and a half, I mean inch. I hate it, I don't like my groups, I like them tiny, but this is just factory loads out of my Ruger Ranch Gen 1. But so far, I'm really enjoying this can. Now I'm gonna be able to switch this, or uh, not the can, the suppressor mount. The Area 419 suppressor mount because I'm gonna be able to change it from my 6.5 to this Ruger Ranch to my AR, and if I decide to get a 204 Ruger or a 22 250, I can switch it between all of them. So if I decide to go this one one night, take it off, take it to my 6.5, and it's already zeroed with the can and that mount, zero. I decide to go back on this one, put it back on this one, taking it off. Obviously, I'm gonna return back to zero. There's the proof right there. The only difference I'm gonna do is. I'm going to take this 46 end cap off and I'm going to get a 30 cal one so that way um, I can go from 308 and down, 30 cal and down. 
Um, I do have the 22 end cap, but I don't want to keep switching back and forth and you know, I'd rather just do a 30 cal one, but I'm so far really digging it. I'm glad I went this route because I've heard issues in the ASR mounts and a couple other ones, quick detach and everything. So I wanted a solid direct thread. So check them out, but I'll be doing some more testings. If you like this kind of stuff, more testing and everything like this, subscribe, like, whatever, ask me comments, questions. I'll try to answer them as best I can. I'm still waiting on my form one for my sawed off shotgun. I'll be doing a lot of testing on that too. So, but I'll check you out later. See what else I can uh, come up with. 